this one first. Sure. There's only like one that I really don't want and I really hope I didn't get that one. Can you know? What's that for? I love that box. I know. Sealed and yeah. Yeah, because otherwise, if you can somehow peek inside them in the shop, then yeah. I just can't get this one open. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the glue. <laughs> These ones are so cute, I'm so excited. I think I like every design for this one. This one is sold out online. Oh my god, I got the best one.
Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I just wanted to come and talk to you for a bit to help break up, I guess, some of the rest of the footage. Um, this week I've spent a lot more time inside than I expected, partly because I've been busy working and partly because it's gotten quite hot again here in the UK. Um, it's only been averaging like 33 degrees C, which obviously isn't as bad as the 38 that we had recently, um, but it is still pretty unpleasant to be trying to cope with. Um, I've been working on my Halloween project partly as a coping mechanism for the heat <laughs> um, and the late summer and partly because I want to make sure that I get things done like not only on time this year but like with enough time. Last year my Halloween stuff was running so late and I don't think a lot of people received their zines until after Halloween which is awful. Um, and this year I wanted to do something kind of fun. I want to have like a silly goofy time for Halloween. <laughs> Um, so I've been working really hard to make sure that I'm working a lot faster and a lot more in advance this month. Um, the idea is to make like Halloween gift boxes. I don't think I'm going to sell the products individually, but I've been working on like prints, sticker sheets and enamel pin as well. Um, and I'm going to sell it all like as a gift box. Um, and then like the underlining theme is like to do with ghosts. Um, and I came up with these ghost characters so within the gift box you get a print that assigns you a ghost character for Halloween and then there's um, a mini zine that comes with it as well that has the rest of the ghosts and also like all of their like biographies so all of their character information. Um, it's really goofy, talking about it out loud is kind of embarrassing but I think it'll be a really fun time and I love that kind of stuff. Um, so I hope the sound of it is cool for you guys, I hope it doesn't sound too silly. Um, I've had a really good time drawing the characters and working out what their personalities would be. I've assigned them all like books and favourite films and stuff. Um, and they all bring a snack and it's been really fun to work out what the snacks would be. Um, so it is just meant to be a fun time. Um, even if you're not super into the idea of the ghosts, I have also just made some cool prints and stuff. Um, and I'm working on the sticker sheets. I'm hopefully going to order the enamel pin today. Um, and I'm sorry if I sound really funny, my voice is kind of going. Um, I've been having a hard time with my asthma, so everything is just sort of conspiring to kill me. <laughs> um, except my ghosts. My ghosts are keeping me company. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. This video has been a lot more of a studio vlog or an illustration vlog than I normally make. Um, normally because I'm not such a consistent and reliable worker. Um, I have difficulties with my energy levels, as many of you know. Um, and that often creates these weird small creative blocks constantly. Um, but I've been having a really fun time working on this. 
um, and also avoiding the sun. So you see me making a lot of visual props throughout the video and that's because my aphantasia can make it really hard for me to like visualize what things will look like when I make them. So it's one thing to draw stuff on a screen and think, okay, this is going to be a zine or this is going to be a pin, but you're never quite sure how it's going to look when it's a physical product, like when it's turned into paper or, you know? So I, I make a lot of props <laughs> for myself so that I can understand a bit better what's going on and what things will look like when they're done. Um, and I actually just finished the bio pages for the ghost yesterday. I'm going to put them on Patreon this evening. I'm so excited. Um, so I need to make another zine now, apart from the one that you saw me make. I now need to do it again so I can see. Um, and then I'm just working on the rest of the pages. I think I finished the prints, which is really cool. I'm hoping to order them to be foiled, so they'll have like shiny foiled gold bits. I've never done that before and I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. It's definitely a lot more illustration on like craft based than it normally is, but not in a super exciting way. Um, to be honest, I've been caving early the last couple of days because my attic room is getting so hot. Um, I'm just going to film this audio and then I'm going to ditch <laughs> for the day as well. Um, I'm going to read my book downstairs, to be honest. It's just, it's really hot. Um, but I hope you like the idea of the ghost. Let me know in the comments if you're excited about the ghosts in Halloween. Um, and I'll see you soon.